obesity, diabetes, lipids, and uh, blood pre blood pressure control. I'm Yining. I came from Henan Medical University. When we discuss about uh, metabolic disorder, we discuss about uh, obesity, diabetes, prediabetes, and also lipids, including the lip dyslipidemia and also blood pressure. Even some countries have a different definition for obesity, obesity, diabetes, or dyslipidemia, or high blood pressure, hypertension. However, we we have to learn uh, the those diseases contribute to a cluster and connected with each other. And next, I'll review and also discuss one by one the link between obesity with diabetes, with lip lipidemia, and also hypertension, and uh, diabetes with lipidemia and uh, hypertension. So we can understand the cluster, how to connect it with each other, especially the biological mechanism behind the linkage. Here, I'll, I'll use a, a publication from Archive of Medical Science. And from the PPT, we can see the, the, with the time, with the, with the aging, more people developed from normal body weight to overweight, obese, and further, they develop dyslipidemia, pre-diabetes, or hyper, or high normal blood blood pressure, and further, they develop to atherosclerosis, diabetes, or hypertension. Looks like each disorder and further develop the disease and uh, with aging. So from the pattern, looks like metabolic develop over time, initially with onset of overweight and obesity, followed by individual components of metabolic disorder. The here, I like to use metabolic, metabolic disorder since and the, the metabolic disorder not only include the five components of metabolic syndrome, also extend to multiple metabolic disorders. The first I like to discuss the link between obesity and diabetes. The association between obesity and diabetes have been well established for several decades. Obesity is a significant risk factor for development of type 2 diabetes. And also two, connect, two conditions are often uh, hand in hand. Sometimes we call it diabetes, even and diabetes and obesity are, are relatively very different. Behind of the linkage of the association, we have to discuss about the biological mechanism, why obesity was connected with diabetes, and including the insulin resistance. And for this part, the type 2 diabetes was characteristic characterized by insulin resistance. Obesity and generally have a excess vicious fat and are strongly associated with insulin resistance through multiple pathways like increased pro-inflammation factors. And the next is adipose tissue and inflammation of obesity also 
in, increase the risk of obese, also increase the risk of diabetes. We all know obese is a, a chronic state of pre-inflammation status. The adipose tissue secrete a multiple adipokine and, and further include the potential risk of uh, diabetes. When we discuss about the beta cell dysfunction, looks like when we have, uh, have obese, the increased demand for insulin secretion will give a pressure to beta cell and cause the beta cell dysfunction and further impact or reduce the secretion of insulin. And then improve and and then increase the risk of developing of type 2 diabetes. And also inflammation pathway. Obesity is a low grade of chronic inflammation stature and disrupt glucose met metabolism and further disrupt insulin resistance, cause insulin resistance and uh, cause an increased risk of diabetics, especially for type 2 diabetes. And in the past several decades, multiple genetics factors have been funded to underline the linkage between obesity and uh, diabetics. Looks like those factors is a risk factor for obese and also for diabetics. From the discussion, we can find the linkage underscores the importance of life, life mod, lifestyle modification to prevent and manage, manage diabetics. Also, those healthy lifestyle improve the state of obesity. Therefore, weight loss and adopting healthy lifestyle, including healthy diet, physical activity, can significantly reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, especially in obese individuals. And the early detection and appropriate, the appropriate management of diabetics is essential to prevent complications and improve oral health outcomes. And we should uh, closely, closely watch closely watch the obesity and the diabetes and to find the, the optimal strategy how to how to how to control obese and also the diabetics. The next is discussed about the, the linkage between obesity and the, and the lipids disorders. Sometimes we call the lipidemia. Obesity and the lipid disorder, particularly dyslipidemia, are well established association. Here I'll discuss uh, several mechanisms of between the linkage. The one is the increased fat storage. It's, it's well understand obese have abundant of fat sto storage. The fat storage also increase or dysregulate the lipids met 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 metabolism. Therefore, lead to lipid disorders. And uh, the dietary factors, the dietary high in saturated fat and the trans fat also can, can contribute to both obesity and uh, dyslipidemia. As we discussed about the, the, the diabetes, in, insulin resistance in obesity is uh, common, and uh, the body cell become insulin resistance to become become insulin resistance. That means less sensitive to insulin. Insulin resistance also can alter lipids 
metabolism and cause the dyslipidemia. And further, the inflammation, adipose tissue can secrete the pro-inflammation factors. And then for each individual, the, each individual, the adipokine can disrupt the lipid, lipid, lipid metabolism and then lead to abnormal lipids profiles. Both are key components of metabolic syndrome. Obesity is a significant contributor to metabolic syndrome, metabolic syndrome and also can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, both lipids, dyslipidemia, and also the obesity increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. And for both conditions, the hormone imbalance can be can be discussed the common, can be discussed, discovered very frankly. Frequently, obesity can lead to hormone dis <coughs> imbalance, such as uh, ins insulin, cortisol, and uh, many other adipokine, and uh, further to contribute to dyslipidemia, and uh, both impact impact both lipid lipids and also obesity, physical activity has a positive impact on lipids profile and also can improve obesity. And the genetics factor also found the, behind the, the linkage between the linkage between obesity and the lipids disorder. Therefore, we should address the link between obesity and the lipids disorders. Should the Adopting a holistic approach that includes lifestyle modification in those patients and also potential the people with with obesity and also dyslipidemia, including healthy diet, physical activity, and even sometimes we should take medication to control obesity and dyslipidemia. Medication like statin may be prescribed to low cholesterol levels and reduce risk of cardiovascular disease. And further, I'll discuss about the linkage between obesity and the high blood pressure, or called uh, hypertension. Several mechanisms include increased blood volume. For example, the for example, the obese people have a large blood volume, and uh, accordingly, our body will will supply the blood to each mm. tissue, and further, yes, sir. will increase the risk of hypertension, and also activation of sympathetic nervous system, both uh, especially for the people with high body with high body weight or high BMI. The system is responsible for fight or, or or not fight and responsible for response to many outside conditions. Therefore increase the heart rate and uh, also increase potential risk of hypertension. The insulin resistance have been discussed with the obesity and the insulin resistance is also a risk factor for hypertension. And the sleep anemia, apnea is also associated with obesity, especially the lack, lack of oxygen and blood supply potential risk will give to hypertension. 
And the further, potential mechanisms would be the kidney dysfunction. Obesity can lead increased sodium reassumption by kidney. This will increase the burden to kidney and call the kidney dysfunction. Kidney dysfunction also related with sodium may also lead to the blood pressure increase and increase the risk of hypertension. The further from the mechanism, and we have to repeat, we have to focus on the cluster of obesity-related hypertension and uh, how to control obesity, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and the insulin resistance. The one part, one, one part is from lifestyle. The next part is potential medication, how to decrease the risk of obesity and uh, hypertension. And uh, multiple disciplinary collaboration should be uh, should they be should they be collaborated to fight obesity and uh, hypertension? And further discuss the linkage between obesity and the dyslipidemia. As we discussed, insulin resistance increased insulin resistance play a key the key part for type two diabetes. Also, the insulin resistance. Can make, can make the body less sensitive to the impact of insulin and further result the impaired glucose intake and uh, disrupt the insulin, the disrupt the lipid metabolism. Other than this, we have to think about increased triglyceride, reduced HDL cholesterol, and increased. LDL and also inflammation response, as we discussed before. And uh, those conditions is condition is a part of lipid disorder and also impact with each other. And to make the lipid disorder even worse. The mechanism sometimes <clears throat> Sometimes the, the medication should be actively given to the people with uh, diabetes and also dyslipidemia. Other than this, and the diabetics, nephropathies, and the kidney disease would be caused could be caused by diabetics and also further lead to abnormality in lipid meta 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 metabolism and also dyslipidemia. Therefore, the treatment and the management of diabetes and the dyslipidemia often involve lifestyle and also the medication. The lifestyle part including the weight loss, the healthy diet, physical activity, and maintain a body weight. All of those should be considered at the same time. And further, the discussion about the hypertension with uh, di the diabetes and also include the insulin resistance. The insulin resistance, kidney function, and the really adjusting adult system the both impact uh, the diabetes and also hypertension. Other than, other than this, inflammation, obesity, and the cardiovascular complication caused by both condition, both condition also even make the, the two condition even worse, worse. The medication use also treated diabetes sometimes even can lead to weight gain and also the, may in, contribute to increase the blood pressure. Therefore, managing both diabetes and hypertension, 
hypertension is crucial for reduced risk of complications and promote better overall health, especially life, lifestyle modification. Individuals with diabetes and hypertension should work closely with their healthcare provider, with physician, to develop, to develop a very comprehensive care plan and to address the two conditions and uh, make the life better. So as we reviewed uh, the two conditions, as we reviewed uh, the four conditions, they connected with each other. And here we will see the ab ab abdominal obesity, obesity can lead to hypertension, prediabetes, diabetes, and also dyslipidemia. Beyond of the linkage between those conditions, impaired kidney function, hepatic steatosis, COPD, and uh, PCOS, chronic inflammation, systematic activation, and uh, hyperuremia also can be considered should be. Uh, I'll discuss the linkage 